missing scene is something that we can't see or hear or read because it's not there on the page or the screen or the stage, but we know it exists. It's like the stuff skipped over in a time jump or an important conversation that gets referred to but not transcribed or an action that happens off stage but that changes everything. It can be something that's intentionally withheld by a creator or something unintentionally lost through accident or happenstance. But whatever the circumstances, missing scenes still speak. Even the smallest fragments or the faintest trace can have a deep impact on our lives. Ancient Greek tragedy, for example, has had a huge influence on Western culture. As the first entertainment to feature a chorus and a sung through story, it allegedly gave rise to opera. Its exploration of multi-generational trauma helped us better understand the human psyche. And its portrayals of anti-heroes that you root for inspired many of our favorite television shows. But to say that we're missing scenes from this body of work would be an understatement. Actually, this body of work is one big missing scene with a handful of gaps filled in. There are about 22 ancient Greek tragedies which have survived fairly intact, and many hundreds which are mostly or entirely lost. Sometimes we know the basic subject of a lost play, but not much else. For example, Carcinus the Younger wrote a play about Zeus's lover, Semele, for which we have the opening words. And nothing else. Sometimes we get a hint of something unusual, like an Aristarchus's Achilles, whose only surviving fragment is a metatheatrical address to both the characters and the audience. Rise up, Peril! Make sure that the people hear! Be silent and keep quiet and be attention! The 5th century tragedian Critias seems to have been preoccupied with the underworld in his plays. earned him the nickname Bile. Killing with the spear. He would not desist from eating the brains. Lost plays involve familiar characters, like Guards by Ion, whose fragments suggest Odysseus and Helen of Troy in cahoots. And how did the stranger arrive in the
Some lost plays seem to have been about wars or other historical events. Round about And there is evidence of one astonishing rarity. A play by Agathon that is not based on myth or history, but unlike any other surviving Greek tragedy, is purely fictional. However, nothing survives of this play except the title. And actually, the title itself is in dispute. But sometimes there is just enough information in a distorted, tattered fragment to give a sense of plot. We can almost trace the shape formed by the broken pieces. If we could just see through the noise, Most of what remains of ancient Greek tragedy is just scattered bits and pieces. Broken phrases with no context or just handfuls of single words. And yet, there is a tantalizing glimpse of something whole. A story that might have changed who we are. A whisper from an alternate reality. In every residual